I've never seen a group of badass dudes just fucking turn into high school little boys within seconds as soon as a hot piece of ass walk into the room. Guys, what do you think is the number one destroyer of Special Forces guys in their careers? Is it alcohol? Is it drug abuse? Is it PTSD? Let me know what you think it is in the comment section below, guys. I'm eager to hear what you guys think. Now, I'm here to tell you that it is completely different than what you guys might have thought, right? I'm here to tell you that it's none of those. It's actually, believe it or not, women. Guys, throughout my years in Special Operations, I've never seen... A group of badass dudes just fucking turn into high school little boys within seconds as soon as a hot piece of ass walk into the room. I've never seen anything like it in my life. And it's without fail, right? She comes in the room and all the dudes, all the freaking training, all the military discipline, all the loyalty, all the discipline, all the professionalism out the window now i don't know if it's because it's human nature because dudes are gonna be dudes and chicks are gonna be chicks i don't know what it is guys but i've witnessed it over and over again and just to prove my point to you guys here's a few examples right and i'm talking the highest of the highest level guys and we'll work our way down you have bill clinton right with monica Lewinsky. all right a step down from that you guys remember general petraeus awesome fucking dude right he was actually in charge of some of the territories uh whenever i was running and gunning awesome dude awesome leader and he was on his way to possibly becoming a president one day right until what he got caught up in that scandal with that journalist bam haven't heard of him since step down from that you have the dick pick six scandal over at seven group right where a bunch of senior leaders were sharing dick pics with the secretary how crazy is that shit, right? A step down from that, you have an old third group CSM who was sleeping with his driver, who just happens to be a PFC. Step down from that, guys, you had a third group commander, right? He got caught in an airplane doing work, and just like that, his career ended, and he was projected to go places, right? How ridiculous is that, guys? And most recently, you had a bunch of third group guys get hammered because they were involved in a human trafficking uh, ring all right, which involve a bunch of prostitutes and stuff along those lines, guys. Now, I've seen this play out over and over again, guys. And just think about it. Now that we have females going through selection, getting through the Q course, and getting on teams, this is only going to get worse. Because at the end of the day, guys are going to be guys, right? And I wanted to bring this uh, to your attention because as a newly graduate of the Q course, you're stepping into that lines then. You're stepping into that issue. And I'm a big fan of education and awareness. If you're aware of it, then you could do whatever you can to mitigate it to ensure that that doesn't end up being you. Guys, the incidents that I listed are just a few. This shit happens at the highest level, right? You had freaking a uh, couple of battalion commanders that were swinging, you know, not too long ago. And it's all over the news, right? Like, how crazy is that shit? When it comes to, you know, professionalism and, you know, the military as a whole and then women and its involvement, guys just don't know how to handle themselves, right? But you as a newly graduate of the Q course, all right, make sure you're educated, make sure you are aware of your weaknesses and your strengths. If you're one of those dudes that can't control yourself around women, then maybe you just remove yourself from those situations whenever you're presented with them, right? Just remove yourself because you're weak. And you won't find yourself stepping on your crank, right? Use your big head instead of your little head whenever you're making decisions, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, guys. I've seen way too many dudes lose their careers over this. And I haven't even touched about the CST debacle back in 2010 on forward, right? Where team sergeant and teams were imploding because females were embedded. I'm just here to tell you guys, the number one career killer of SF guys is definitely women, all right? And if you know that you're a weak individual, keep yourself away from the equation, all right? So you can hopefully thrive throughout your military career. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.